mouth sores. Mouth sores, including canker sores, cold sores, and ulcers, can cause discomfort and interfere with eating, drinking, and speaking. Canker sores are small, round ulcers with a white or yellow center and a red border. They usually appear on the soft tissues inside the mouth, such as the inner cheeks, lips, and tongue. The exact cause of canker sores is not well understood, but they may be triggered by stress, minor injuries, certain foods, hormonal changes, or underlying health conditions. Cold sores, also known as fever blisters, are caused by the herpes simplex virus, HSV. They typically appear as clusters of small, fluid-filled blisters on or around the lips. Cold sores are contagious and can be triggered by factors such as stress, illness, sun exposure, or a weakened immune system. Oral ulcers can also be associated with systemic conditions, such as celiac disease, Crohn's disease, or nutritional deficiencies. Treatment for mouth sores depends on the type and underlying cause. Canker sores usually heal on their own within one to two weeks, but over-the-counter topical treatments and mouth rinses can help alleviate pain and speed up healing. Avoiding spicy, acidic, or abrasive foods can also reduce irritation. For cold sores, antiviral medications can help reduce the duration and severity of outbreaks. Maintaining good oral hygiene and avoiding known triggers can help prevent recurrent mouth sores. If mouth sores persist or are severe, it is important to consult a healthcare provider for further evaluation and treatment. Dry mouth. Dry mouth, or xerostomia, is a condition characterized by a lack of adequate saliva production. Saliva is essential for maintaining oral health as it helps cleanse the mouth, neutralize acids, and aid in digestion. A dry mouth can result from various factors, including dehydration, certain medications such as antihistamines, decongestants, and antidepressants, and medical conditions such as diabetes, Sjogren's syndrome, and radiation therapy for head and neck cancer. Symptoms of dry mouth include a sticky or dry feeling in the mouth, difficulty chewing and swallowing, a burning sensation in the mouth or tongue, cracked lips, and bad breath. Dry mouth can increase the risk of dental problems such as tooth decay, gum disease, and oral infections because there is less saliva to wash away food particles and bacteria. Managing dry mouth involves addressing the underlying cause and taking steps to relieve symptoms. Staying hydrated by drinking plenty of water throughout the day can help alleviate dry mouth. Chewing sugar-free gum or sucking on sugar-free candies can stimulate saliva production. Using a humidifier in the bedroom can add moisture to the air and help reduce dryness. Over-the-counter saliva substitutes and moisturizing mouth sprays can provide temporary relief. If medications are causing dry mouth, discussing alternatives with a healthcare provider may be beneficial. Regular dental checkups and maintaining good oral hygiene are essential for preventing complications associated with dry mouth. Jaw pain or clicking. Jaw pain or clicking sounds when opening or closing the mouth can indicate temporomandibular joint, TMJ, disorders. The TMJ connects the jawbone to the skull and allows for movements necessary for chewing, speaking, and yawning. TMJ disorders can result from various factors, including jaw injuries, arthritis, teeth grinding, bruxism, or misalignment of the teeth or jaw. Symptoms of TMJ disorders include pain or tenderness in the jaw, aching pain around the ear, difficulty chewing and locking of the jaw joint, making it difficult to open or close the mouth. Clicking or popping sounds when moving the jaw can also be a sign of TMJ disorders, though these sounds may occur without pain in some cases, Treatment for TMJ disorders varies depending on the severity and underlying cause. Conservative treatments include applying ice or heat to the affected area, taking over-the-counter pain relievers and performing jaw exercises to strengthen and stretch the jaw muscles. Avoiding hard or chewy foods and practicing stress relief techniques can also help reduce symptoms. In more severe cases, a dentist may recommend a splint or mouth guard to prevent teeth grinding or provide a referral to a specialist for further evaluation and treatment such as physical therapy, medications, or, in rare cases, surgery.